All right, this this time, something interesting I found. Stumble on it completely by accident. You can see I have my reading glasses on because they make me look intelligent. No, <laughs> it's because I need them to read by print. Uh, just a matter of getting older. Uh, I have a whole bunch of different old. I go to a lot of these flea market sales and stuff like that, or sometimes the smaller sportsmen's clubs in my area will have flea markets where guys will sell old trapping gear, old fishing gear, hunting gear, stuff like that. Now I've been to some where I've bought old traps. I, I, some I've got some old muskrat stretchers at, uh, old books. I've got old trapping magazines from the fifties and the sixties. I have some fur fishing game magazines. I got the, from the, from the late early sixties, late sixties, seventies, uh, and, and everywhere in between. Uh, I'm also currently subscribed to Fur Fishing Game. That's a good magazine for if you if you hunt or trap or fish. That kind of covers everything. Uh, it's one of the only magazine subscriptions I have. I used to get a lot of different hunting magazines and, and stuff, and I really stopped because it was the same crap in, in every one of them. But the Fur Fishing Game is really good. Uh, I also get I have magazine subscriptions through the National Trappers Association. I get the American Trapper, and uh, the Pennsylvania a, a Trapping Association, I get the Trapper magazine as well, which are really good. It's all trapping related articles and they tell you when the rendezvous and stuff are coming up and all that stuff. But I have some old trapping books here that I had. I'll give you a quick look. Russ Carmen Raccoon Trapping Methods from Trap Line to Fur Shed. This was all also done by Russ Carmen. This one here is Nor uh, Trapping North American Fur, ba Fur Bearers by Stanley Hallbaker. This is a classic book here that, that's pretty popular. Uh, this one here my wife got me last Christmas. This is a big hardcover book. It's the uh, Master Trappers and Tom Miranda wrote this. Now anybody who watches outdoor TV knows who Tom Miranda is. He had a... Uh, a show on ESPN for years and now he has Adventure Bowhunter and stuff like that on my outdoor TV or an outdoor channel. Uh, what a lot of people don't know is how he started is he actually was a professional uh, canine trapper for the, the state. I think it was in uh, South Dakota. He actually got his pilot's license and he would do government trapping for ranchers, trapping coyotes and fox off of ranches. Uh, and he'd use his airplane to check his trap line. He'd go from farm to farm. Of course, in the uh, Midwest like that, it's, it's you know pretty wide open areas, so driving his truck wasn't always uh, <laughs> practical, I guess. So he actually had a small plane, and he would fly from ranch to ranch setting traps. But that's how he started. He started trapping and uh, basically built a career out of it. This is a really good book, though. It's got all sorts of illustrations and stuff in it. Look at the old pictures look at that fur catch there end of the line catch dandies but it's uh it's really good but the purpose of this video if you have like i said i stumbled on this by accident but if you have apple products right so i'm going to show you on my ipad here because it's a little bit bigger so it's easier to see so i open it and if you go to Apple Books, and you see the books here, Hints on Wolf and Coyote Trapping, Science of Trapping, Mink Trapping, Fox Trapping. All of these books I got for free. I didn't have to pay for them. You can just uh, download them. So if you go to search, and then go to the, the search bar there, and they put in trapping, they, they come right up. We go to the search. Which there, actually, there's one there, the Wolf and Canine Trapping. They're all for free. So see it where it says get. So that's the one I don't have. If I press get and then press get again, it'll load it right in. Like that. And then you can see under here there's the there's more fur farming. Wolf and coyote trapping. That one is 99 cents. But the steel traps here, I'm gonna get that one too. There's one, uh, another one on steel traps. Uh, 
deadfalls and snares. I mean, there's all sorts of trapping books in here. And like I said, those ones I found were free. So this one, if I press on that, get. See, it was released in 1930. So if I hit get on that, get. There you go. Then if I go back to my library, they'll be loaded in there. So say this one is on mink trapping here. Get it centered. If I tap on the mink trapping, so it'll flip through all of, I, I was at the end of it, but it'll go through. Look at all the old traps with the teeth and everything in them. Look at this. So some of it is trap set up. There's one for a deadfall, pole deadfall for mink. It's like, you know, some of the stuff that people have completely forgotten about. There's an old picture of a trap shed. Hope you can see that. This is the glare on the screen. But uh, yeah, all of those books were free. So you can go on there and, and download them and read them as long as you have Apple Books. If you have an iPhone, it will work on that too. Uh, but yeah, I thought that was pretty cool. They're all old books from like, I mean, look at the picture here from the, you see it? Here we go. Look at that catch a mink. And the guy's wearing a suit and a hat. <laughs> but yeah, I thought it was pretty cool. Uh, a lot of the information is still relevant. You know, it's still relevant. If I go back out of this one. Uh, this one was for Fox. So you can see here, look at the pictures of the Fox. Gives you the Harding, that's the guy who wrote it. So here you can see the foxes on the stretchers and stuff. It's uh, pretty interesting stuff, but for free, how can you go wrong? So I thought I'd share that and, uh, you know, thought somebody might like to download it. If, like, I don't know if it works for Android. I don't have Android stuff. So uh, like I said, I found that under Apple Books. And I just seen that they were all free and you can you can download them and read them for free. Uh, I just enjoy reading the old uh, the old books and you know studying the techniques and, st and, and stuff. Now of course some of the techniques they use then are not legal now so you have to kind of know what you're talking about. But every now and again you come across a good idea that worked then and it will still work now. Because uh, some of these guys were trapping during the depression and that was how they were e eking out a living. So thought that was pretty interesting and uh, thought somebody might find it useful but yeah just go and download some free trapping books <laughs> all right I'll see you on the next one